Designers use portfolios like Behance to highlight their best work. But what about developers? In 2020, GitHub introduces a feature that let us turn our profile into a mini portfolio using a simple markdown file. Hey, I am Sriyans, a programmer like you guys. In this video, I will walk you through how to set up a clean, professional GitHub README. We will see three ways to create your profile README. So whatever fits you, choose accordingly. First of all, you should have a GitHub account. If you are new to GitHub and don't have account, you can watch this video of mine. Okay, now let's create the README profile. We have to create a new repository. And to create it as GitHub README profile, we need to name it as our username. As you can see, GitHub is saying it is a special repository that we can use as a GitHub profile. And we have to make this repository as public and also initialize with a readme file and just create it. And we got a simple readme that says hi there. We wanna change it a lot. But first let's see the simple way to create your readme file. If you click on this pencil icon, then we can see GitHub provide a simple template. We can use this template by uncommenting it. And the comment was the HTML comment. So we can use the HTML tags in the markdown files also. We can write, I am currently working on uh, like bookmark app and I am currently learning, uh, let's say next years. You can write as per your background. And if you don't want to answer all of them, then you can skip some of them. It is totally depend on you what you want to show on your profile. So I am looking for help with let's say AI. Ask me about full stack. Reach me through my email. And that's it. Now you can preview these changes. And if it is look fine to you, then you can commit these changes by adding a simple message. And now if you open your profile, you will see a simple readme profile like this you can add more important information for example like this person has a very simple readme profile and it does the work first it says hello there then he define what he is and what he do and where does he do what technologies he use and yeah you can create a simple profile like him and add some your creativity to make it your custom one you can add some information of yourself here also you can add your profile photo i don't like to add here so i left it blank but you can add your bio and choose as per your preferences select the company in which you are working if not left it empty select the location if some recruiters want to know your location they can instantly know your location by this display the local time also and if you have any website like portfolio and all you can show here but don't visit this one and you can add some social links of your like you can add your x account add linkedin and save it now it is looking better than previous one but we gonna make it way better than this i think this is the best resource to create a readme file it has loads of options to select first it let you choose the format of the readme it provides four templates. First, this template will look like this. The second one will look like this. The third template will look like this. And the fourth template will look like this. But I like the first one, so I will proceed with this one. And after selecting that, you have to check this. We have selected that template and now we can customize it. We can drag any part and move it down or up in the order so first let's change the title you can just select any part and a preview window will open to edit it let's say i want to say hi i am sreyans after writing the title now let's write the description you can write anything here about yourself what you do let's say i am a full stack developer and then after let's write about me you can write anything here as per your preferences okay so i have added the details of mine you can align element in left, right or center, whatever you want. And also you can increase the size of anything. Let's now add skill section. Let's say I want to say this as skills and select the technologies which I used. Now let's add some new sections to our readme. Bunch of options on the left we can select. So we should definitely start this project as it is very helpful for us. We don't have to fork this. 
uh, what is this level up uh, not used for us we have already selected the templates then after that this is the text if you want to add some more text here then you can add but we have already added the text so we don't want to delete this you can just right click and delete it we have already added the skill section so we also don't need this one then stats yes we need stats so we have to just write our username here and hit enter it will now display our stats of the github now it says social media select that part now it has added bunch of icons you can select any social media so just click on the edit icons and here you can paste your social media links like for the linkedin you can paste here next we have snake what it does it is your github heat map so it is pretty cool to add in your profile so yeah you should add this thing you can also add pacman as your github heat map then profile views so it will show how many people visited your profile but it does not do that accurately because uh, github does not provide us any api for for that so it count the number of page refreshes so the number of time you refresh the page it will go up and also you can add if you want to add your spotify music you can add here also just select this and select the recently one as it is easy to add and after that just enter your spotify username here it is not important to add but some people like to add so i am showing how to add this now it will show your recent played music it's totally on you you want to show it then you can do this part or you can skip it now you can add also images or gifs to your readme now it will show here this is looking bad here so we will little structure this so we will move to the to the top and also float this if you want to add your medium blog post then you can use this part and yeah this is pretty much done just add this social media section to the bottom it is very customizable so you can customize according to your preferences now let's hit the generate readme so it has generated a bunch of text now we can just copy it and paste it to our special repository which we have created here now we have pasted it let's preview it it is looking good but what happened to the snake animation let's see oh we have to add a github workflow for the snake animation like as you can see here so we have to add a dot github slash workflows folder and inside that we have to add a snake.yml file so our snake animation can come so that's why this snake animation is not coming so first of all let's commit these changes let's say this is intermediate one and now let's go to the repo this snake one is not working so let's clone it to our local repository you can use https or ssh according to your preferences i use ssh it needs a setup so you should go with this one https i will make a video on this what is difference between these two so please subscribe now let's create a folder let's say profile readme and let's open in terminal and now clone our repository for that write git clone and paste the link hit enter it will clone the repository to the our local computer now let's open it in vs code As you can see our repository is there and a readme file which we have created is there. We can also see the preview of it from here. Now let's fix this snake animation part. In our main folder, let's create a new folder called .github and inside .github let's create another folder workflows. Inside the workflows create a new file called snake.yml and hit enter. Now I need to just copy this and paste to our VS Code. Uh, let me clear this thing. So it is a workflow which runs every 12 hours, and it will be pushed on main branch. So these are some info about the workflow where it will be running. Its task is to write, and the name of the task is generate snake dot svg. I don't know the internal working of it, but it will generate a svg every 12 hours. So our heat map will be updated every 12 hours. 
सो नाउ लेट्स पुश दिस चेंजेस टू द गिटअप Now let's refresh it. As you can see, and workflow is running. You can see by going to the actions tab, it is now running. You have to wait for some seconds. If you will do the steps properly, then it will work fine. And now, yes, this is pretty good. So this is the intermediate profile readme, and I think this tool is very good to generate readme files. You should definitely check this out. Now let's move to the advanced part. Let's make our profile readme solid and which keep running for years. Like this is a text, so we don't have to worry to get down. This is also fine. This all are text and GIF. These are images, so we don't have to worry. So we have to worry about these two cards as it is deployed on someone else server. We can simply deploy it on our server, and by doing that, it will be running for years as it will has less load on the server and also update it quickly. So we need to apply these changes and we have to add some things to make our readme perfect. So now let's quickly do that. Let's deploy the GitHub stats to our server. Just follow the steps which I have written in the Notion docs. First, visit this GitHub repository and now search for deploy. Now it will take us to deploy on Versal. So yeah, we have to do this only. We have to follow these steps. Let's go to Versal. After coming to the Versal, continue with GitHub. Go with GitHub only as we have to connect the GitHub to the Versal. So it will be good to connect the GitHub. After that, we have to fork this repository. Now let's fork this repository to our GitHub so we can use this. Click on create a new fork. I have already created one, so let me change the name little bit and hit create fork. Wait for few seconds and it's done. This repository is on our GitHub profile. Now we can use this and deploy it on our Versal server. Then head over to the Versal. Click on Add New. Create new project. Now import the repository which we have forked. So we have forked this repository two minutes ago. So import this repository. And now we have to do one more step. So we have to give this a pad token, personal access token, so it can access our GitHub stats. So to generate the pad token, we have to go to GitHub, then Settings, Developer Settings. Go to the Tokens and generate a new token. Name it as GitHub Stats. You can keep the expiration time for 30 days. And if you also want to show the private stats, then you can select this and now generate token. Copy this token. Now head over to the Versal and click on Environment Variable. Name it as Pat underscore one. And now click on Deploy. Now it is deployed. Let's continue to the dashboard. And here we will get a domain which we can now use it. Just copy this. And now let's open our VS Code. We have to look code for these two cards. Click this, and you will be pointed to that part. So we have to replace this part. So this server we have to replace with our server. So yeah, this is working now. This card is running on our server. Now let's change the server of the most used languages also. Now these two are deployed on our server, so we don't have to worry to get it down. Now let's move on to the next step, which is to include the waka time. So this will help us. to show our vs code stats how much time we are coding this is up to you you want to add or not i find it cool so i am adding this so head over to the waka time create an account or login login through github now go to the waka time.com/api-key it will give us an api key just copy this and we have to install a plugin in vs code so we can track all our progress or coding time so head over to the vs code close this for now go to the extensions tab search for waka time install it now it will ask for the api key of the waka time so paste it here now it is set up on the vs code now we have to set it up on the github so to show the stat in the readme file we have to add these two things in our readme so just copy this and paste it to our readme wherever you want to display it let's say i want to display it after the skills For now it will be not displayed as we have not run the workflow of the waka time go to the repositories and select the profile repository and go to the settings of the profile repository after that go to the secrets and variables and then actions click on new repository secret name it as waka time api key and paste the waka time api key here click on add secret now the secret is set 
we have to do one more thing head over to the actions then general and allow this read and write permissions click on save now head over to the vs code and create a new file called waka redmi ml and paste this code now commit the changes so now let's go to the github and go to the actions tab select the waka redmi and just run this workflow and wait for few seconds it is done let's over to the profile page now as you can see an waka time sections has been created now if you will work on vs code then it will display the stats here so yeah this part is done so we have created our readme which is looking like this now our profile readme is looking way better from where we started this is not the compulsory thing to have but good to have thing and it also motivate you to consistent on development if you find this helpful don't forget to subscribe and like this video and i will see you soon thanks for watching